Hi folks, this is Andrew with another episode of Madman Review. Today we want to talk about the 6.5 Creedmoor, or more specifically, why this round sucks. It might come as a surprise to some of us, but there are people out there who hate this round. If you're one of them, don't worry, I don't judge you. With this hype, one might almost think that it's a magical bullet with which you can do everything. Such a area just got those of us pumped up who stay with their feeds on the ground and get it. The 6.5 Creedmoor isn't just a round that still needs a good shooter who pulls the trigger, and does not shine in everything at once. Pushing this round so much calls for a counter push. So, let's take a look at why it really sucks. The 6.5 Grendel for deer. You think the 6.5 Creedmoor has only a little recoil. Wait for the little round that could, the 6.5 Grendel. It is perfect for hunting whitetail. It might not bring the long range of the Creed, but it certainly covers the ranges at which most of them are killed. At that distance, the Creed just cannot do anything the Grendel can't, and for that, the Creed even kicks more. So, if you want to go for more accuracy because of less recoil, the Grendel is your choice. In fact, you feel it 40% less in your shoulder than the Creed. It is just a soft little kitty. At the same time, its ballistic coefficient is high enough to make its trajectory nice and flat. But the real extra is that you can also use it in an AR-15. It cannot outdo the 260 Remington. Being so over the top, it must be maddening for the fanboys that there are rounds out there which can just beat the 6.5 Creedmoor. Another one of them is the 260 Remington. Granted, the factory ammo is not the best and a rifle from the shelf will not push it to the limits. However, if you are serious about taking the long range challenge, you go your own way. Get a custom rifle and load your own ammo. In the 260 Remington, you have some extra capacity for powder that you can use to push up the velocity more. Your custom rifle needs a fast twist rate to stabilize this bullet, but you can shoot some bullets with a high ballistic coefficient as the 6.5 Creedmoor. If you want to be a real sniper and target shooter, or you like to relive history, this is your chance to do so. Not only do you outdo the Creed this way, you also follow into the footsteps of shooters before the turn of the century. You can even go another century back and use what they shoot, the good old 6.5x55 Mauser. In that case, you even outdo the Hyper round with a real old one. The 264 Winchester is better for long range hunting. You want to go hunting at long ranges and also ring the steel far away, but a custom rifle and loaded your own ammo is not your way. Then there's another round that just spanks a Creed right out of the factory. Granted, you get more recoil, about 20% more, but who cares about that as long as you give the Creed a kick. With a speed advantage of up to 400 feet per second, over this hyped round you can get a deer so far out that it seems like a dream. It comes with a lot of noise and a real punch. In fact, for a deer, it is equally as deadly as a 30 6 or a 300 Winchester Magnum. In fact, it's powerful enough to go after elk as well. And you know those elk hunters. They think and tell you that elk are the animals that are the toughest to kill, and only a Magnum can put one of them down. Okay, granted, a Creed can do that as well. It does so with a flatter trajectory and a bullet in the same size as the 6.5x55 Mauser. Why is this important? because that round has been responsible for a ton of dead moose in Norway. However, it's also important to note that the recoil of the Creed is lighter. That makes it easier to shoot accurately, especially when you go over longer ranges. As the placement of the shot is more important than the size of the bullet, you can get some pretty decent results. That does not mean that a shooter who is rather mediocre gets very good results with these rounds, but it does certainly help a little bit. Does the Creed really suck? Seeing that the 6.5 Creedmoor does not outperform all other rounds might mean it sucks. There's always at least one that can do more than the Creed, but if you really look, it always comes at a price. You either have less range, more cost for a custom solution, or you get more recoil. Having specialist type of ammo makes sense, but means also you need to have more rifles, more ammo types to contend with, and more money to spend. Now looking at it from that side might make a lot of shooters happy, then maybe have only one task for their gun, so they can live with one rifle, one kind of ammo or they just love having many rifles and many kinds of ammo lying around. Yeah, they can even justify that in front of their significant others by just needing it because the rounds each have their own advantages. On the other hand, if you are looking for a one-size-fits-all approach, you want to have only one rifle and one kind of ammo and save a ton of money, the 6.5 Creedmoor is your way to go. While it is being outperformed in single categories, it's never outdone in all by any other round. This makes it super versatile for plinking and hunting various game. Everything you need comes straight out of the factory, so if you want to save yourself the trouble of getting a custom rifle and reload your own ammo, that's great for you. Otherwise, nothing stops you from also reloading the Creed. You find a rifle that can be made better with some custom work. 
Not that this would be really necessary. In short, if you want it complicated or really specialized, the Creed does indeed suck. If you want to do more than just one thing without having to worry about the whist rate of the rifling, recoil, or range, the Creed is your star. And there you have it, guys. It really seems that the 6.5 Creed mode does not really suck, so the haters have to just suck it up. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button to never, ever again miss an episode. See you next time.